Hi, my name's Ricky from Barnet Judo Club. Uh, just here to give you some instruction on Tachi Waza techniques. Uh, we're gonna go through Kazushi, so breaking balance now. Okay, so it's just a simple stepping pattern. We're gonna follow a little cross that we've been using. So it's a cross with A, B, C, D, and then one, two, three, and four. Okay, this is just to kind of help you to work out the stepping pattern itself. I've put two Zoris out in front of me, so if I was to stand slightly wider width, that's exactly where they are for me, and they're on squares one and two. Okay, so I'm gonna start on three and four. I'm gonna move my right foot across to one, so my toes are facing toe to toe. Okay, so it's slightly diagonal to the corner now. So that's step one. Step two, I'm gonna bring my back foot in, and I'm gonna have my toes down, my heel up. Okay, chest is still gonna be facing forward, so it's one, two, okay? So this is the stepping pattern, one, two. Okay, now going from this point here, I'm gonna look at our guard position again. So we've been talking about having this sort of W position, thumbs together, elbows in, roll the shoulders forwards and keeping the, the chest protected to make sure people can't get a grip on the lapel. So I'm going to start in this position here, I'm going to step one, then two, we're going to start to open up our opponent, so we're going to start to bring our opponent open, so it's one, two. Okay, now we're going to start looking towards this wrist, which is the pale wrist, so that's the left hand, I'm going to start to turn our thumbs in as well. So start to get our elbows higher. Okay, so going the other side now, so it's left foot first, left foot's gonna come across, toe to toe again, toe to toe, right foot coming in between the two feet. Okay, so that's one, two. Okay, so going back into our hand positions again, so we're going to start to open up our opponent. Okay, now we're going to start thinking about looking for the wrist again, so we're going to start to draw and look at this wrist and start turning our thumbs in, elbows going high. Okay, so from the side, position is right foot, slightly diagonal toe to toe, back foot comes in, heel still off the floor, dropping my waist line down, so my belt line is gonna come below my opponent's belt. So we're opening up, and we're always looking for that sleeve. So if we're doing a, a right hand turn, it's gonna be the left sleeve we're gonna look at. If you're doing the left hand turn, it's the right sleeve you're gonna look at. Make note that my hands are always coming up high. Thumbs are always pointing together. Elbows are high. I'm always looking at that wrist, turning it out. So making sure that I'm rotating. Okay, now the other side. So it's left foot toe to toe, right foot comes in, heel off the floor. Okay, breaking the balance now. Okay, now starting to turn that head. Remember the hands and the thumbs are all high, elbows are high. Okay, so now we're gonna use Uchikomi bands for Kazushi. Okay, so we can use the anchor at the end of the band that can go to a chair leg, a lamp post. Um, you can do it on your door handle, just make sure the door's shut. Um, you can also ask a partner to put it around their waist for you and you can use the ends. Um, and you can also ask a partner just to hold the middle of the band with the hand for you. Okay, make sure that both ends are even, okay? 
And also hold on with the little finger first, then ring finger, then middle finger, and your point finger and your thumb finger aren't necessarily gripping, okay? So from here, you can keep your fingers in this position if you want. You go back to three and four, all right? I'm gonna start in this sort of position first. You're gonna step one. As you step one, you're gonna start to open up. Step two, you're gonna start to twist and turn and look at this back arm, okay? But this hand and the thumbs need to come up high. Okay, so we're going Okay, so off side, we're going to be doing the same thing. So it's the left leg goes first, then the right leg, okay? And we want to make sure that we are looking up at the wrist, turning the hands outwards. Okay, so now I'm going to do this with an opponent. Okay, so we've got our uh, Uki and I'm Tori, so I'm the one doing the throws. Um, so we're going to take a normal grip, so we're looking at a lapel grip. So I'm going to hold again with my fingers and not the thumb. And I'm going to take a sleeve grip where I'm tending to take a sleeve grip around elbow. And then I want to gather up all of the fabric at the bottom. And as I turn, that's when I'm going to tighten up their suit and get a bit more tension in the suit. Okay, so if my opponent takes my sleeve. All right, so first step is one. As we go one, we want to start to draw, draw the opponent towards us, okay? When two comes in, that's when we're going to make sure our belt is dropping below their belt line, and we're making sure that the hand is coming up and we're looking at that watch. Okay, from here, tension, this is the important part. It allows me to break more balance, okay? So it's good to have the tension right across the back of their suit, okay? Hands are coming up, thumbs are coming, sorry, elbows are coming up and thumbs are facing inwards. Okay, it's so just a different angle. So once again, gathering up all the suit underneath, holding the lapel. Make sure that you're sort of fishing, keeping a strong wrist. And this one you're lifting up to like you're going to look at a watch okay so we're going to step in one start to draw two in and look at that wrist 